Emily Conway and I'm John McIntyre and we're coming to you from our house in the Cooley Mountains in North County Louth. Um, I play the fiddle or the violin and I play the guitar or the guitar <laughs> and we get to travel all around the world and um, bringing mostly Irish traditional music to audiences everywhere um, which is a lovely job um, but one of the nice things about our instruments is that they're very versatile and they can play lots of different styles. So we can play classical music on these instruments or um, jazz or world music or anything at all, um, which makes it really good fun to play the instruments. Um, and my violin is made of wood and I have steel strings. Um, and it's made up, would you believe, of around 70 different pieces of wood, this instrument. So there's an awful lot going on here. Um, and the bow here, and um, it's also made from wood, and the hair is made from horse's tail, believe it or not. Um, and that's what grips the string and makes a lovely sound. <laughs> and we can play very high on the violin as well, which is great fun. Well, I play the guitar, and the guitar is very similar to the violin. It also has steel strings and it's made mostly of wood and, and there's a lot more pieces of wood in this that you can't see as it is there in the violin. There's more pieces of wood on the inside that's holding everything together. So we have a flat top here on the guitar as opposed to the round top on the violin. It's less sophisticated, this flat top and it's got a flat back and the violin has an arched top and an arched back and very curvy. And then also the strings are curvy as well, so that they allow the bow to reach between the different notes. So, so, so I can play one string at a time on this quite easily. So I can play nice melodies. Where is with John? If you notice the strings on this, they are all almost straight. There's, there's a slight curve here at the bridge, but everything is almost straight. And this allows us to play chords much, much easier. The chords, a chord is two notes or more played together. And each guitar string can play one note. So I can play six notes at the one time because I've got six strings. So, and I can play with the plectrum. Or else I can play with my fingers much softer. which is made from ebony and um, it's nice and smooth as you can see so I can do a lovely smooth slide and then John's here I have got these little pieces of metal and these are called frets and they they're, they're, they make it much easier for the musician to play the note because all you have to do is <laughs> press it down. push it down and it's the, the correct note is made for you already by these, by these lovely bars and if I do a slide or a glissando, you'll hear all the individual notes. And I suppose if you would like to, to start an instrument, and um, you can buy violins and guitars from around 100 or 200 euro, so not too expensive. But some of the most valuable ones are very expensive indeed. What about the guitar? The guitar, the most expensive guitar ever was $800,000. It's a very, very expensive, almost a million or most of a million. And that's a Martin, isn't it's it? A Martin, it's a Martin. And guitar. yeah, a man called C.F. Martin, he was an American guitar maker and he made this guitar in question. He also devised this design of the guitar. This is a, this would be called a Martin, Martin guitar that I play. And he designed this guitar. But it's and not worth 800,000. It was built in C.F. Martin's factory. <laughs> so it's much, it's worth much less. <laughs> And this violin was actually made in Amsterdam. It's nearly a hundred years old, very beautiful violin made by Muller. But the most famous violins, you might have heard of them, Stradivarius or Guarneri. Those violins are actually worth up to 18 million dollars, so incredibly expensive. And so I suppose it would be nice to play a wee tune for you now so you get to hear how we sound together. And this is a tune that we've composed and it's called Rounding Malin Head. And it's Irish traditional music, but with a bit of a twist, a little bit more modern, I suppose it maybe has unusual time signatures in there. We'd like to say thanks very much to everyone for watching, and thanks very much to the National Opera House for inviting us to do this video. And hope to see you in real life down the road.